Forever Trap Renegade. Today I've got a couple projects uh, for the van. The first thing uh, that I've wanted to point out to you is my awning setup. Last time I showed you that, I, I showed you taking that awning out, but if you look, that pipe is starting to sag. So um, what I've done, I've got two more of those U-bolts there, and I'm probably gonna move those U-bolts down there and move those a little that one a little closer to the end, and then I'll put two more in there to give it a little more strength and keep that pipe from sagging. It's just sagging with all the weight of that uh, tarp and everything that's in there. The other thing that I've got today, I've got some plywood here. I bought two sheets, and then I bought some self-tapping screws and some more drill bits because I don't know what happened to mine. And then I bought this uh, Olympic Max uh, paint. It's for uh, it's for wood decks and things like that. And I'm gonna put that up on the top of the van here, and I'll kind of show you why. Uh, when I get up here and load the kayaks, it's really tough uh, to walk around up here between all of these. Um, uh, pieces of square tubing here and you can see I've got dents all in the roof here from where I end up walking on the roof and I'm just kind of tired of it and it's you know, it's hard to do when you're up here trying to wrestle those kayaks and not step uh, in between those try to step on top of them and not dent the roof it just it's a hassle so what I'm gonna do is put some plywood on everything except for around that vent and then I'm gonna leave those uh, kayak racks there, but I may take them off and cut some holes in the plywood to uh, allow that those to go back on where they are now because they work out good where they are now. Um, so that'll allow me to just walk on the whole uh, roof rack and not worry about tripping. Uh, Cause it, it, it is scary. One time I got my foot caught under one of the uh, rungs there and I thought I was gonna go tumbling off the roof. So. Um, that's what I'm going to do today and like I said I've got that paint for the deck and what I'm going to do is cut everything out how it goes and then I'm going to paint everything that way it'll be painted on top and the bottom when you look up you'll be able to you know see the painted surface and I did get a color called uh, pewter it's like a gray color uh, so it's a little bit lighter than the van but it should match pretty good um, I may end up putting white on top uh, to reflect some light uh, and try to keep the van a little cooler in the summer, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, just wanted to just wanted to show you guys what I'm up to, and I'm going to get this project started. Here's what I came up with. I've got uh, actually three pieces. This piece back here in the back covers all of this and then it goes up to the vent there and then there's one piece there and then there's just a short piece there uh, because it's about 60 inches wide and I just cut it out of a full piece uh, 48 inches wide. It didn't give me all the way across so I had to put in a little piece over there. But I cut some holes in here with a two and a half inch hole saw so if I ever need to strap anything small down I won't have to strap from one end of the rack to the other I can just reach a strap in here and hook it and I put four holes I've got one here and one here and that should allow me uh, to be able to strap anything that I need to but I think it turned, I think it turned out pretty good I've got a lot of standing room up here now and I still have my rack here for my kayaks. I can put all kinds of stuff back there. And now I can walk around up here and not have to uh, worry about tripping and falling on those um, those bars across there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this down and I'm gonna paint the underside of everything, let that dry. And then I'm gonna flip it over and paint the top. And then once 
that is completely dry. I'm going to put it up here and then I'm going to drill some holes around the edges um, and screw it into those bars as many places as I can. And once I have it screwed in, I'm going to put another coat on top. And like I said, the reason I got that sealer is so this wood doesn't get wet and soak up and swell up. Hopefully it works how I'm thinking, but I want to try to seal everything you know, on the edges here. That way this wood doesn't um, swell up over time. I know it probably won't last forever, but at least it'll last for a little while, a year or two anyways, so I can get some use out of this. Uh, All right, well, I have the first coat of that on here, and this stuff is pretty good. Um, it, it covers well. It's very, very thick. I'm just rolling it on with a, uh, it's a 3 8 roller. It calls for a half inch nap. This is a 3 8 nap. I don't really think it matters that much. Uh, let's see, I've got the first coat here. It fills in those cracks pretty good. And let me show you, this stuff is just really thick. I mean, it's just thick. So it's, you know, I think it's gonna work out. Uh, I still have to put it on those two pieces over there. And then once it dries, I'll flip it over. So, um, yeah, I hope it works out. I'll let you uh, see the final product when it's done. Here's the uh, final product. Um, I've got everything screwed down real well and after everything was screwed I put another coat of paint on the top part because the bottom part is uh, completely done. It's got two coats and it dried before I put it on top and screwed it in place. So here it is. Uh, it's still a little shiny because it's wet but that's the final product. Once that dries I'm gonna take it over by the garden hose and spray off some of this uh, sawdust that's up here from drilling those holes. But here it is. I'm uh, pretty happy with how it turned out, and I appreciate you watching this video. If you have any questions, just let me know. Y'all have a good one.